Well, that was only Moore's 12th fight. He is unbeaten. He's won nine of those fights inside the distance. And in stark contrast, Hubert Duran, who has won two world titles, one at lightweight and one at welterweight, has had no fewer than 80 fights, and he's only lost four of them. Duran was on the comeback trail, and the win that clinched this challenge was against the luckless Pepino Cuevas. Duran is in the white shorts here. This is four rounds, and it's softened up Cuevas, and with the ref parting them there temporarily, you can see that vicious swinging attack. Cuevas is out again. So, Duran looking back to his best there and on target for a third world crown. That sets the scene then for the world title fight. Davy Moore, the holder, is in the red shorts against Roberta Duran. Commentary now by Reg Guthridge. Davy Moore, the bookie's favourite defending champion, has come in at 3 to 1 on to beat the great Roberto Duran, former lightweight and worldweight champion of the world. But he's the one who's drawn the crowd. The Every Hispanic in New York seems to have turned up with tremendous atmosphere and still the mecca of boxing at Madison Square Garden. And really, Duran has whipped himself into shape up at Valley Gorge in New Jersey. And I'm really amazed on how he's come in at 10 stone, 12 and a half. He first won a championship 11 years ago in this ring against Ken Buchanan, seen on ITV, and he weighed inside 9 stone, 9 pounds. Moore is exactly the light middleweight or the junior middleweight limit as the WBA call it at 11 stone. And it's certainly been a rocky path back indeed for Duran. Disgraced three years ago in the famous no mass surrender against Sugar Ray Leonard whom he'd previously beaten for the welterweight championship and couldn't go home and now they've all turned out to see him again he's even been sparring for this fight in the open in Times Square and he starts the first round as though he really means business but Davey Moore not a well-known champion but a competent one only 12 fights unbeaten and he won the world championship in his ninth fight in Japan Certainly Moore knows this ring well. He won four golden gloves at Madison Square Garden. What a great start it is. Scheduled for 15 rounds because the WBA has not cut it back to 12 as the opposing one, the WBC, have. Duran lost to Kirkland Lang from Nottingham who can't get a fight because of it. He looked very unimpressive when I watched him in Miami outpointing London's Jimmy Batten over 10 rounds. But he's had a good opener. He took a thumb in the right eye there, Moore. So round two then. And a good start indeed there. Good boxing by Moore. Always up on his toes. A little amateurish in many ways. And now Duran carrying this great experience of 79 fights. And he's lost only four. Can he join the very limited numbers of champions who could win championships at three different weights? It would be really just an unbelievable performance from Duran. Was refer to Duran as Stone Fist, the hard fighter that moves in, but there are times when he jabs very hard too, and he's doing it now. He's trying to outbox the boxer. Moore's got some good boxing moves. I think it's time the world knew a bit more about this fellow. Very talented. But of course, Perhaps winning the championship a little too early. He's defended it against Ayub Kaluli of Uganda. He went to South Africa and defeated Charlie Weir and then defeated Gary Guidon in America. So this fellow really doesn't hang around as a champion. <sighs> what a round in the second. Can this keep up? And the atmosphere is really electric. I've imported a Mexican referee to try and keep some... Uh, peace as they say here between them but they won't do it when Duran's in the ring this this fellow has fired himself up for this one and 
Well, you couldn't bet the odds that this can't go 15 rounds. See a bit of class coming in from Moore's punches, but then Duran immediately takes the play away, swiveling round, gets Moore back on the ropes, and says, oh yes, I've met your sort before, including Ray Leonard, Cena fighter trying to get his pride back. Certainly it's Duran tonight. Such a hero in New York. It's really remarkable when the local boy, his supporters completely drown. They've got a Panamanian band playing. They've got a fellow blasting at a trumpet. The security cops trying to keep people in their seats as they chant Duran, Duran. Moore must think he's really fighting away from home. Whew, and they're fighting after the bell there. And Duran is saying, OK, if that's what you wanted, that's my game. Oh, this is really a bad tempered fight, and Duran saying, get back to your own corner. And in replay, we can watch some of that action there, the way they switch punches from head to body there. Now, both caught with the right hand there, beautiful punches, but Moore was hurt, and that was why he was hanging on. And again there, it's Moore's turn with the right hand, and there's the after bell stuff. So the bruising already there around the champion's right eye for round three. Well, the pattern is set. These fellas have really got to fight for their lives in there. And Stone Fist around still has that relaxed, arrogant look all the time and such a difficult man to defeat because he can hit from all angles, and he can box a bit. That's always been underrated. Moore might make a mistake trying to beat Duran at his own game. He really should be getting into the boxing and not slugging it out with this fellow. And it's typical of Duran that he's spending his 32nd birthday tonight fighting. I dare say that bristled chin of Duran soaks up a few punches, apart from rubbing into the other fighter's face. Crowd raising every time Duran gets stuck in, and this body punch is absolutely tremendous. the British champions are watching this, they really know what they have to do to win a world championship in America and to retain it too. Better get stuck in, close inside, work to the body. And the Mexican referee managing to stay away from it trying not to interfere too much because it's such a great fight. And also a little bit of after-bell stuff there, but ignored by Duran this time. You got it. Vaseline, Vaseline. the seconds they want him to change tactics there Davy Moore always up on his toes well a little bit amateurish really in this uh, rough sort of situation and Duran at his age saving every ounce of strength the old head 
coming into the fight well I have to say that I agreed really with the bookmakers making more three to one on to win this because he was the front runner he was the fellow that was winning and Duran was struggling a bit but he came back with Pepino Cuevas and I think that's been the turning point in the pride with him punches that you would think from the back of the hall really very difficult. he's always mobile and slipping there's, a, there's an example where Moore misses again Moore trying to pile on some pressure and take a bit of the play away from Duran study of concentration there with Duran which really is he knows his final fling and would you believe he's arrogant enough to know that if he wins this championship he could even think about going for the fourth one against the great Marvin Hagler at full middleweight you see the swelling there now around the champion's face There's no way that that gets any better. It's hard work for the seconds to cope with that. They'll have the ice packs out. Only really just playfully tapping him, but the crowd don't like that. They are with Duran all the way. left hook well Duran he really cuts an opponent up with that and then occasionally throws the, the big right hand in but the left hook usually does the early damage <laughs> but it was Moore's right hand there and again Duran trying to ignore it I'll tell you, anything goes there. There's a few shoulders and elbows and heads bumping and nobody's complaining. Oh, they don't mess about at this championship level. When you fight at the Garden, you've got to know how to fight. concerned asking if it's all right and he was saying he was but this uh, distress signals definitely showing there with more and the crowd knowing it and certainly Duran knows it Duran at times fighting a surprising stand-up fight Although he pours his way in, he doesn't mind standing off as he is here now and jabbing well. And you've had 79 fights, believe me, you know the ropes in this business. And he's always fought at top level. trying to 
signal to ran on. But the way he blows that, I certainly wouldn't give up the day job if I were him. sustaining this punching close in like this and there's no powder cake punches there I promise you as the sweat and water bounces off both of them 11 stone division the light middleweights Morris Hope held it at this weight with the WBC title this is for the WBA now Duran on top more fairly successful at the start but he's being outgunned now you see the spray of water coming off the heads of the fighters there as the punches land Remarkable performance by Duran on his 32nd birthday when he really should be sitting at home with his feet up and thinking about an easier way to make a living because he's already a millionaire. And when he wins, they declare it a national day in Panama. That's what it means by having the crowd behind you. They're having to use the inswell, which is an iced iron bar now, on Moore's right eye to try and get the swelling down. It holds the cold, and there's a close-up of it, and he really is having difficulty now seeing because his left eye is starting to swell a bit. And this fellow is comparatively unmarked. So the second for right to say to Moore, it's a long fight. Into round seven. Really now, Duran has looked, as they say in the fight game, so much on top. And he started to trigger the right hand a bit better now. He softened the man up with the left hook. An absolute incredible performance for me. We all thought he was on the treadmill virtually to nowhere at one point. The former lightweight, former welterweight champion of the world who defeated the great Sugar Ray Leonard in a marvellous fight in Montreal. Oh, those left hooks there, the ones now he's got more really on that hook, hasn't he? Blowing hard there, more. And he doesn't let him off the hook too often, Duran, and the crowd know it. And surely more must know it too. In the seventh. can afford to buy his time a bit, Duran, but that's not his style. They didn't name him the assassin for nothing. Oh, and right on the button. He's listening to that count. He could use the rope to push himself up more. It's a brave performance. And the Mexican referee took a really good look after the mandatory eight count. Well saved him there. And as Duran gone to the wrong corner and sat down, he sat down in the champion's corner. He's certainly not bemused, just excited. And in the replay then, you can watch that long right hand. There it is, side of the door. The gun shield almost came out, and had the ropes not been there, I think more may have gone out. So the eighth round, and the three to one on favourite, really coming unstuck. And this can be one for boxing's record books. Duran winning three championships when he'd retired and really looked on the way out.
fighting as though he was 20 all over again. Reminds me of the fight here with Kenny Buchanan. And it's just a question now of how long this Mexican referee will allow Moore to take punishment. now for me full marks to Davey Moore for trying to hang in there this is a gutsy champion on the way out surely the WBA officials at ringside are jumping up trying to beckon to the referee to stop this fight but because Moore hasn't been down again he hasn't really had the opportunity he's looked for but it's so one-sided now Duran barely missing him with a punch. But Moore just fighting now on instinct and sheer bravery. Come on, referee. That's enough now, surely. And there's the official you can see him waving from outside the ring to the referee. Come on, stop this fight. And yes, it's all over. And Moore, at least, has been able to walk away under his own steam. But here, Roberto Duran, this most remarkable comeback, and the crowd literally going crazy. And in replay now, the effect you can see there, Moore just stumbles back into Duran, doesn't know what to do, instinctively holds on, and really wins the badge of courage, if nothing else. But this...